All right, Black Tree TV, I got a special treat for you. I got Miss Latasha Hopkins, one of the stunt women that's behind the scenes of some of these these programs that you guys watch, and 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 that's what we're here for, the Action Stunt Award. So, so tell me about some of your tougher stunts, or or some of the some, what's your toughest stunt you've done so far? Wow, that you know, it's such a difficult question to ask because it could be difficult if you're, let's say, you're doing a car crash and you're in the passenger seat, so you're not driving, but you know the hit is about to happen. So it's difficult because you're not, you're not so-called in the driver's seat. But um, I don't know. I fell out of a, a car going almost 30 miles an hour. I think it seems simple, but I just remember looking at the concrete. I was on top of a convertible. I'm like, oh, this is a probably get ran over if I don't hit my mark and I put you know but you can't think like that you have to just think okay I'm gonna hit my mark everything is gonna be great and you get this adrenaline rush I mean it's it's amazing actually now how did you get into this were you just one of those kids that was doing like all type of crazy stuff and somehow I wasn't getting injured or something yeah actually that that's exactly what it, what it what it was I I mean it's very unfortunate for my parents but I fell out of the car when I was I think six um, yeah, right when we were getting off the Autobahn, we were in Germany, and but I was fine. I had a couple of nicks and bruises, and my dad had to go to therapy because he saw me in the rearview mirror. So for me, I was fine, but for my dad, he had a, it was really hard for him. But yeah, I was a gymnast, I went collegially as well. So from stunts, uh, from from being a, a gymnast, going into stunts is pretty. Uh, it's a graceful move. Plus, we just love we love to challenge our our body and the air awareness and all. You know, it's just it's awesome. Tell me, like, uh, like, what's the process for stunt casting? I know, I know the people that are coming here just for Hollywood acting. They go to all the casting calls for for this role. How do you get involved in stunts? Like, how do you start that process? Well, I think it's different for different people. But as a, as a whole, I think it's very important to get involved with the stunt community. They have, you can train um, in a backyard of one of the, the, the I would say the stunt veterans and you can learn, you know, the high falls and the air rams and, you know, wire work. But now there's there's a lot of things that are available to the, the younger generation coming up. But um, having a background in martial arts or gymnastics or even the circus, you know, I think is, is good. So having a good background and then when you come in, you, you get um, you get very diverse in what in what you choose to what you do choose to do uh, their services, you know, that, that you can be. But. We stopped an audition too, as well, and it's so much fun because the stunt community is small. So when we see each other, we're like, "Okay, go get it," and you know. So, but I think just being being involved, keeping your core strong, because you do take some some hits to the concrete. So, but I think it's different for for different people. Yeah. Can you tell us some of the projects that you that you're currently working on and got coming up? Yeah. Um, well, I I worked on Mad Max Four, doubling Zoe Kravitz. So that was amazing because I was in Africa for six months. We shot in Namibia. And that should be that should be out the beginning of next year, and then also Divergent, what I shot when I got back, that'll be out in the, the beginning of next year too. And Scandal, I didn't do major stuff on the show, like just baby stunts and Brown, but I have to say, Carrie Washington is absolutely amazing. She's so yeah. You're doing her stunts? Yes, I did. I got to work. Plus, I love the show. So there, I mean, we, you know, when 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 you work, you, you do film, you do TV, and you're like, oh, it's a job. But to be on sets, that's so much love, and you know, they they have. That, um, that camaraderie between each other it was just it was an amazing it was an amazing experience I worked on Castle which is great you know recently too um, Greg Barnett is, is amazing the stunt coordinators too you have a relationship with the stunt coordinators so when they bring you in I think that that means a lot as well it's another dynamic to the business all right well tell yeah. all the people that's now you know sparked a lot of curiosity and a lot of young women that didn't think you could look like you and be a stunt woman but and they're probably gonna want to like follow you and stuff now. So why don't you tell them like if you got a social media platform that they could? I do. I my social media. I actually have a clothing line. It's called Capanada Apparel. So all of my social media is really goes to the to the line. But uh, my name is Natasha Hopkins, and you could follow me at Capo C A P O N A T A Apparel on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, whatever you do. <laughs> so, so what type of apparel is it? Um, it's active, of course. Got to get it in. Yeah, active. Some lifestyle, but more, you know, like athletics. You can work out. Keep it right. We're going to tune in. We're going to follow. And we're going to be checking out Mad Max 4, whatever else you got coming up. Thank you. Thank you.